tested, he was given uh, uh, he was given antibiotic uh, orally. Okay, suppose uh, cephalosporin, he was given because uh, the registrar thought it was uh, uh, pneumonia. Okay, two year old, and he was admitted last night. But in the morning, when the X-ray report came, it showed bronchiolitis. So the antibiotic stopped. Now counsel the mother about that incidence, that why you stopped antibiotic, okay? Suppose I am the mother. I will have some question that why you gave antibiotic, but my child has bronchiolitis, mm. why you gave? Okay, so you will counsel the mother. Okay, mm -hmm. take some preparation okay. time because it's a new scenario, huh? Yeah. So what is the scenario? You understood now, what is the scenario? Yes, yes, I understood, I understood. Yeah, okay. Two year old Sam, okay. Sam is a baby boy who admitted last night with the history of uh, two days of fever with cough and uh, breathlessness. So the hmm. duty registrar actually given oral antibiotic. Uh, and uh, now the baby is okay and uh, X-ray found there is bronchiolitis. So uh, we withdraw the antibiotic. And now mother wants to know why you gave, okay, why mm -hmm. you gave unnecessary antibiotic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. I got the. Okay. <clears throat> so baby's name is Sam. Sam. Uh, Sam. Two years. And mother name is. Suppose mother's name is uh, Hafsa, Hafsa, or anything like Hafiza, Hafsa. Mm hmm. Fine. Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Dr. Uh, Hiren, one of the children doctor here. I believe uh, I am talking with uh, Sam's mother, uh, Hapsa. Uh, yes, doctor, um, that's me. Uh, thanks for coming, uh, Hapsa. Uh, how can I address you? Uh, yeah, it's just you called me, now. So my name is that, yeah. Okay, okay, Hapsa. So today uh, I am here to discuss with you regarding uh, um, some of the health concerns regarding Sam. So do you like anyone else to attend with you? Uh, no, doctor. My husband actually at this moment he is at work and I saw Sam. He's doing fine, doctor. What do you want to discuss? Yes, uh, Hapsa, Sam is doing fine. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday he was having some like cough and uh, some difficulty in the breathing, but uh, he's better now today. And uh, actually, I want to discuss with you regarding uh, uh, one, the test which we did uh, yesterday, as well as uh, some of the medicine which we gave to Sam. Yes. Yeah. So, on, yeah. So, um, did anyone of our doctor talk to you about this or not? Uh, actually, doctor, I just came in hospital. I did not talk with anyone. Okay. 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 So, Hapsa, what happened? Uh, some uh, during the time of admission, because he was having cough and some difficulty in the breathing, and because of that, you know, uh, the doctor on the duty uh, uh, thought like possibility of the chest infection. And yeah, yeah. Uh, considering the safety of the uh, SAM, uh, uh, some tests were done like uh, X-ray of the chest, which is like imaging mm -hmm. test was done mm -hmm. and also, the dose of uh, antibug therapy, which causes the pneumonia, also was started. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And today, um, some of the tests uh, showed that Sam has uh, another condition called bronchiolitis, which is uh, inflammation or swelling of the lower airway. Uh, is it is that serious, doctor? Serious condition my baby has? Um, 
but uh, it is not a serious condition. And in most of the cases, uh, the children, they recover very soon with the treatment. But the reason why I'm meeting you today, because I want to tell you like, Yesterday, we gave antibiotic, antibiotic therapy, and we considered uh, the uh, chest imaging, considering the uh, condition called bacterial pneumonia. But now, this is a, another condition called viral infection of the lower airway, which is called bronchiolitis. Okay, so, okay. Actually, viral infection does not need uh, antibiotic therapy. But by okay. mistake, I mean, considering the safety of the Sam's health, it was given. Okay, so you mean uh, this uh, antibiotic therapy, uh, antibiotic is not needed for my child? Uh, actually, Hafsa, antibiotic uh, is not much helpful in viral. Uh, infection which Sam has. Okay, but uh, why then your register gave that yesterday night? It's not justified, right? Yeah, I uh, I understand. Uh, you looks quite worried about that. But uh, Hapsa, when you know when the Sam came. Uh, during the time of admission, at that time, we were not sure about this thing, whether it can be viral infection or the bacterial bugs. So, okay, but doctor, uh, my, my child has given uh, two doses of that antibiotic and that is totally not necessary. This is not right, doctor. This is totally, you know, this is totally against my child's uh, improvement. You are giving antibiotic that is not needed and how come, doctor? How are how, how the doctors become so inefficient? Yeah, as a mother, I, I understand. Like uh, you feel it is quite uh, stressful. Why you are very much concerned about same why he received antibiotic? But Hafsa, uh, tell me when uh, in the beginning, in the early phase, when we don't have the results. Uh, of the test, which usually takes time. At that time, what is the priority? Isn't it the HAPSA's uh, health condition uh, given the top priority? And if it is bacterial infection, it can be more worse. So considering that the doctor has given antibiotic, which I agree, uh, it's not going to help in a condition like viral, but uh, looking to the safety, uh, the doctor has taken this step. Six minutes done. But doctor, but doctor, I know that these antibiotics have some side effects. How can you say that? that my child is getting extra doses of antibiotic that is not needed and it could it could get him killed it could get him some rashes some anything how how can you say that for safety net you gave extra that is not needed doctor i'm not convinced doctor yes i understand Hapsa. you are quite worried about this but let's focus on the good part of things like sam is good now his health condition is improving and uh, we are observing him for the any side effect of the antibiotic. And we will also do close follow-up for his condition. Any point of time, if we find any kind of the side effect, we have a medicine to uh, take care of the, that side effect. Meanwhile, we'll also uh, um, arrange a meeting and uh, we'll also arrange a uh, uh, the review why it has happened and we'll look into that matter um, why the, the, the antibiotic was started and uh, we'll go through uh, in a detail uh, with that, with the team of the doctor. Yes, doctor, please do that. Please do that. And uh, of course, please do. And uh, I like to know which registrar did this thing 
and also like to complain against doctor because because this is not i think this that doctor is not efficient so i like to complain doctor yes sir uh, it's the matter of the sam and um, you know uh, anybody at your place will have the same feeling and i understand that you are very much angry about this uh at the moment we are still looking into that and uh, uh, i am still uh, you know um, looking into the deep into the matter but it's very difficult to tell you about the name of the doctor and uh, once uh, we see uh, all the things then i can arrange another meeting with you if you have any further concern and also i can arrange meeting with our consultant if you want to have a words with him yes doctor definitely i'd like to talk to him definitely doctor yes so uh, hapsa um i know it is little bit stressful time for you and i gave you a lot of uh, information at this moment 9 minutes done uh, like to go through the points which we discussed so we discussed about the antibiotic given so and the condition cannot summarize doctor here yeah. after 9 minutes gone you cannot you just have to say thank you yeah, and then yeah. right 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 okay, okay fine this this kind of situation will happen in real exam also okay the situation will be very mm -hmm. difficult and mother will be crying or angry and then the time out then you have to say okay thank you very much because you don't have time for summarizing and for you know leaflets like this right this right. will happen in real exam also because this mother was very anxious why you gave antibiotic and i'm telling you doctor you done uh, you did a great job your voice was very calm and uh, you did every you questioned every answer you try to calm down the mother it was very good and your answer was also perfect that the baby may have pneumonia at the presentation this was perfect answer but the main mistake you did uh, i think dr sandeep also noticed you came with the agenda at 4 minute you should come with the agenda in 1 to 1 and 1/2 minute you came with the agenda at 4 minute before coming to the antibiotic you said all this thing that um, we did x ray we did uh, everything and then we thought it was pneumonia and then we came it is bronchiolitis and at the 4 minute of time you said actually the antibiotic was not needed and it was given that means this is the agenda right and how many minute we come to agenda within 2 minute this is written in the books now within 2 minutes you have to come to the agenda so how i will answer this question when mother asked yes doctor what happened so you will tell that uh, actually hafsa um, baby sam admitted last night uh, with some features of cough and cold and for that our registrar prescribed antibiotic later on we found that your baby's condition is not so serious so we stopped the antibiotic is that okay with you so then hafsa will say uh, doctor bronchiolitis what is that and do you, is it not uh, is it not serious like i did i asked that is it is serious so he say no actually um, first when the baby presented uh, it was a mixed feature and uh, that that's why we uh, prescribed antibiotic for the safety net okay and then uh, during next day when the extra report came it showed viral infection that is called bronchiolitis it's a condition where antibiotic is not actually necessary so that's why we stopped sometime in bronchiolitis also necessary okay sometimes but most of the time it is not necessary when it is added with super added infection like staphylococcus sometimes there is added infection so the mother will say doctor how why why you gave antibiotic if it is not necessary the doctor is not efficient then you say actually every doctor would do that okay that means you are trying to save your uh, colleague why he gave actually every doctor in that situation probably do same same uh, same thing because we don't know when the child presented with us is it bacterial or viral your answer was quite right everything is right but the thing is we have to come to agenda within very short time and our answer should be clear cut you said that i know as a mother you are worried you are furious you are angry yes that is correct but you have to give the answer that in in the presence of my colleague any doctor would do that because we don't know right 
And um, in this to, when mother asked you this question that it may be, doctor, it has side effect, my antibiotic. Then you said, yes, I can understand you must be worried for that dose, but I can assure you that Sam is fine. Sam is doing fine. And these two doses of antibiotic did not cause any harm. Furthermore, we are observing Sam. If there is any side effect, we will definitely do a lot of tests. And for this scenario, we will do meeting. When mother said, I will complain, then you say, in this scenario, actually, this is your right. But I would suggest, I, I, I can assure you that uh, for this kind of situation, we have meetings. Okay, we will discuss again with Sam's report and our consultant so that this kind of mistake does not happen uh, in near in future. Okay, it is actually not a mistake. It was a safety net. Okay, and mother said two doses it can cause side effect. We can say actually uh, we started antibiotic two doses. Uh, that dose is therapeutic dose. Uh, that dose does not usually cause side effect. Any side effect. Okay, this is the answer of the mother's question. And we are observing. We are observing them. If there is any side effect, we will definitely treat that. But mother will not understand no therapeutic dose and also. Yeah, that time you can say we gave we gave uh, the exact dose that is needed. That is not more, dose is not more. You can say like that, dose is not more, yeah. And uh, there were two or three more questions, like when mother insists you for complaint, 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 then you can go through, okay, and there is, a, for this, there is another management in hospital that is called, uh, what is that called? False, ah. right, patient and liaison safety. I will guide you toward that. And of course, if you like, I'll, I will have a discussion with our consultant. Content. This you said. This you said. But uh, usually, uh, this scenario, uh, even they say to mention PALS is also not correct because it is actually not kind of apology. No, this is not kind of apology. Yes. Mm. If you are the like, register uh, on your Kiran, agenda, this job. Mm -hmm. PALS handles all types of complaints. They will counsel the patient, they will look into it whether the uh, mm. mistake is there or no. The pulse will decide. Mm. It's our duty to refer to them. It is not that. But will you apologize for this? And, and uh, we are referring to the pulse. No, yeah. no. The pulse point here is, is, will you apologize for this? But this is no, not no. apology. No. Not yes, apology. this is not apology. That this is, is the... not apology, but still, if mother insists that I want to complain, you have to refer to pulse. Yeah, this is when when but mother is repeatedly asking. Insisting, is, yeah. PALS is an independent is. committee which will look into the uh, chain of incidences which has happened and they will decide whether whose mistake is it, whether it's a mistake or no. Yeah, yeah. but it is repeated. Dr. Hiren do, did write. He did not say PALS because mother is mm -hmm. only one time said. And then when... Like if mother insists, then only we have to refer. Yes, then only, yes. If mother says, no, doctor, you are saving your colleague. I, I want to complain, please. I, I Tell me how I, I want to complain. Then you can say, okay, this is your right you can do by pulse. This is when mother is insisting. But this scenario, mother did not insist. Mother only one time told and then mother agreed with the consultant uh, review, okay? And uh, you said that one thing, point could, uh, Tamanna, you said we have stopped antibiotic now yes. because yes. we have come to know which is uh, viral and after that we have stopped. Yes. So generally, this is a this is a good point we can reassure at this uh, yeah. at mm -hmm. this point. Yeah. Like yes, we have stopped now, and if still further side effect, we will closely observe him. Yes, yes, yes. But your scenario, your your understanding was good, perfect. Your question answer was perfect. But the main point you came with the agenda in four minutes. If you listen the recording, you came mm -hmm. with the agenda very late. And that, that mm -hmm. time, your situation will be lengthy, you know? Uh, this agenda, you know, agenda, I had a very long <laughs> discussion. Agenda is should be also, they say it's a, it should be context-based. You cannot, uh, for example, uh, the scenario of brain, this, uh, you know, organ transplant and all, uh, I think the same thing was raised, the concern like, uh, we'll do, do sometime that scenario. We'll do sometime. A brainstem death is different. That is the you know brainstem uh, death, withdrawal from I mean, the ventilator, and also when mother uh, is angry. Scenario is different. Hmm, when mother is angry, and.